Dr. Jaja Shakur. I am the author of the forthcoming book, The Business of Hip Hop, The New American Dream. This is a very important book for the simple fact that hip hop is the fastest, largest business lifestyle brand in America and throughout the world. According to a study 2006 by Package Facts, a marketing firm out in the Midwest, they say that hip hop is a $2.2 trillion multi international lifestyle brand. This brand called hip hop was created in 1973 in America. But in 1979, when Rapper's Delight came out on Sugar Hill Records by uh, the Robinson family, Sylvia and Joseph Robinson, it gave birth to hip hop as a business entity in America and throughout the world. My book, The Business of Hip Hop, The New American Dream, is a 15 chapter book that details the business of hip hop in America and throughout the world and how inner city urban youth who was growing up on welfare and free government cheese, growing up on hand-me-down clothes, second-hand clothing, growing up in urban environments in America and throughout the world that was depleted by economic despondency, economic unemployment, underemployment. How did urban youth turn an urban youth culture into a multi-billion, multi-trillion, multi-wealthy, enterprise in America and throughout the world. Um, inquiring minds want to know. It's a concept called self-creation. The ability to create oneself, to create from your innate talent, skills, know-hows, and abilities, manifesting your dreams, manifesting your reality, manifesting the things that you want to manifest in your life inside of the world. Hip hop business is not based upon someone's perception of your reality. Hip hop business enterprise is based upon you perceiving your world view, based upon the perception of how you see yourself and how you manifest a whole new world reality. Lately, hip hop has been growing and developing into a manifestive, multi lifestyle entity, whereas it had evolved from music and entertainment. And now there's fashion, now there's housing, now there's politics. It went from a political economy into a cultural economy. Hip hop is a cultural enterprise that develops goods and services from its cultural manifestation of its innate abilities to create wealth within its own culture. For example, when we come out with music and we come out with entertainment, that's a hip hop cultural manifestation where inner city young people created their own concept of what it was to be a cultural icon or a multi-business mogul. Jay-Z, for instance, went from selling music CDs, now he's selling liquor and vodka, and now he has the 4040 Club, now he has fashion, now he has the, uh, the, the Rock Nation sports entity. Then you look at a person like Puff Daddy, that's a rock vodka, has Sean John clothing, has the new uh, 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 Revolt TV. This is such an amazing entity in America. People like Dr. Dre, he sold Dre Electronics to Apple for $3 billion, man. This is such an amazing story. Not only did he sell his Dre Electronics to Apple, he is also uh, an executive with Apple as well. Nowhere else in America and throughout the world will you see inner city urban youth or anybody inside of America who could build their own brand, then sell their brand to a Fortune 100 company and then become an executive. Then you have people like 50 Cent, he has vitamin water, and he has records and he has music, but he also has fashion, he also has uh, real estate, he also has a book publishing company. My book. The business of hip hop will detail what it is to be a hip hop mogul, what it is to be a hip hop entrepreneur, but most of all, how to be an innovator, 
how to be a cultural icon, how to be a business uh, uh, a mogul in America that has multiple businesses in America and throughout the world. How these individuals are also international icons in the world where people in Australia is following them. People in, in, in Europe, in Africa, in the Caribbean islands, even the aboriginal people in Argentina and New Zealand is following hip hop right now. Hip hop is such a great cultural uh, manifestation, but the business side of hip hop is what my book is going to be entailing. It's going to be talking about how regular people in America, in the inner city urban environments, who are not rappers, who are not DJs, but who are businessmen and businesswomen who are taking their business concepts and they are manifesting jobs for people. Hip hop has an economy. It has a large economy where it's producing jobs. Even though America is in a recession, hip hop never went into a recession, a, 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 a recession because what hip hop does is that it manifests the greatness of the human being. It manifests and empowers the human being. It shows you that you can create a business for yourself instead of working for somebody else. So this is just the introduction of my book, The Business of Hip Hop, on how you can create a business of your own using hip-hop business principles. This is Dr. Jaja Shakur, the business of hip-hop, the new American dream.